Kaskas Distinguished Citizens is a veteran of the French Foreign Legion. Born in Holland, he sampled the entire world before he decided on Alaska. He served in both houses of our territorial legislature, and he has thousands of friends from Ketchikan to Point Barrow. On this broadcast, it is my honor to take you to Wasilla to visit Heine Snyder. Of course, his name is Garrett Snyder, but everybody calls him Heine. Now a bustling, active, dynamic 81 years of age, Heine Snyder has just completed his third book, A Hundred Stories of Alaska. His other books are a textbook on mink farming and So Was Alaska, a collection of sourdough reminiscences. Heine ran away to sea when he was 14 and from ship to ship covered all continents and all oceans. In 1909, he came to Alaska, built a raft at the headwaters of the Yukon and floated down the river to Dawson. Placer mining and chasing gold stampedes in the interior occupied the young Dutchman's time until 1915 when he went south and became an employee at the San Francisco World's Fair. Heine was 29 and unmarried, but he still remembered pretty and petite Alice Aldenberg in Holland, whom he had met just once when she was 15. Through a relative in Spokane, Heine learned that Alice not only remembered the fascinating young man, she still carried the torch for him. In his direct, swashbuckling manner, Heine said, well, if she feels that way about me, I'll send her the money and she can come over here and marry me. On May 20th, 1915, Alice Aldenberg married Garrett Snyder in Spokane, Washington. Heine tells with relish, and I borrowed $5 to pay the minister. Mr. and Mrs. Snyder celebrated their 52nd wedding anniversary this year. Parents of four children, they now have 12 grandchildren and nine great-grandchildren. Mrs. Snyder, who is all of 4 feet 11 inches tall and weighs 98 pounds, swims in Lake Lucille in front of their Wasilla home every day. And I mean every day, from May 15th or as soon as the ice is out until the end of October. This daily swim, she says, is the reason for her excellent health. Heine brought his wife to Anchorage in the spring of 1916, and their first home was a tent pitched alongside of what is now 4th Avenue. Their daughter Elizabeth was born that fall and was the first baby girl baptized in the Presbyterian Church. Incidentally, Heine says, old man Rasmussen, meaning my father, and I had to work hard to finish building the church so it would be ready for christening my daughter when she arrived in this world. Heine dabbled in national GOP politics as a member of the Alaskan delegation to the GOP National Convention in 1952. He cast his lone vote for General Eisenhower, and to quote Heine, I did this only after talking with General Eisenhower and getting his promise that if elected, he would appoint an Alaskan as governor of the territory. He kept his word, and Frank Heinzelman was our first Alaskan GOP governor. Mr. and Mrs. Heine Snyder, Alaskan pioneers, are the ultimate in genuine Alaskan friendship and hospitality. They thoroughly enjoy having visitors call on them, and a visit to their home in Wasilla is a delightful experience and is one of those treasured events which give flavor and color to our Alaskan living. I salute Mr. and Mrs. Heine Snyder, two wonderful Alaskans.